The offset dates function allows you to offset some of or all of your start and or end dates in my courses by a specified number of days. This is especially helpful if you want to reuse your calendar due dates between semesters as you can choose to offset all and or end dates by the number of days between when the first assignment is due in one term and when the same assignment is due in the next term. After the dates are moved, you may need to make some minor adjustments, but you will most likely not have to edit all of the dates. So the, really, the power here is that you have all of your dates on your calendar from one semester, and I just want to, I'm going to use the same assignments. I'm just going to move all those dates, and I just do it in one big fell swoop, and it's done. I don't have to do it individually. I click on Edit Date on, in the nav bar. Click on Manage Dates. Now a listing of all content, discussions, Dropbox, grades, news, and quizzes will be listed. There are most of the items within my courses that have start and end dates. That's what these are. But you should note if you use due dates, you cannot use this tool. This is only for start and end dates. So it's best practice to use the advanced filter so the items so that you can just show the dates uh, that have been assigned to, to, to these items. So click on the show advanced filter options if it's not showing. Checkbox underneath the start date. In the drop down choose after and what I would do in this case is uh, enter the date of the present term uh, the, the beginning of the present term or a few days before to make sure you get all the dates uh, with start dates that will be seen. So what we're trying to do is to filter and see you can see that there's a lot of items here that don't have start dates and I don't need to deal with those. So I choose that, I click apply filter. When I click apply filter the only items that will be seen should be items with a start date. <clears throat> so these are all items that have a start date. If I was just using end dates, then of course I would choose the checkbox next to the end date and apply the filter for that. I'm going to click the top checkbox next to edit dates, so to select all of the items, and I'm going to click offset dates. I'm going to leave the both start and end date there. In the days forward drop down, choose calculated between two dates. In the from field, Enter the day that your first assignment was due in the present term. So if I look back here, let me see, the first assignment, let me do this this way. I'm going to go ahead and sort this. There we go. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and sort it again. So notice that the first assignment is 112. So again, I'm going to check box, offset dates. Calculate between two, so the first assignment's on the 12th. Now, I've already determined that for the summer term in this particular case, but it could be any term, I'm going to say that May 18th is when this first assignment is due. Then click Calculate. This tells me that there's 126 days in between both. When I click Save, it's going to update both the start and end date and move the start and end dates 126 days ahead. I click Save and it's going to be saved successfully and it's going to be thinking. And you'll notice that it moved all the dates and you'll notice one of the things here, this is telling me how many days in between each, so it was seven and it was seven before. It has moved all the dates to their appropriate place. Now if I need to make any minor changes to any one item because maybe there's a holiday or some other reason, um, I'm going to click over in the white space and then I can click edit dates or offset dates. So if I click edit dates in this particular case I can then go ahead and just move these dates to their appropriate place and click save. If I know um, when, like if I know that it's only one day or two days ahead, I can go to offset dates. In this case, I can do both start and, and I can do forward and backward. 
So if I know it's going to be two days ahead, I just click two and click save, and you'll notice that it moved both of these uh, two days ahead. So the offset, offset dates um, tool is a wonderful tool to make it much easier and quicker for you to manage all your dates in one fell swoop without having to uh, make changes on the individual items. When you're done uh, editing the dates, click Done.